Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. And this is going to be a general read. This is going to be a you versus them. Okay, let me grab this last deck for clarification. Uh -oh. Okay, so this will be your side will be here, your person's side will be here. The mutual energy will be in the middle. This will be your deck, your person's deck, and the deck we use to clarify. Okay, guys? So this is general. It may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Energy is fluid, so feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself right where the fuck you fit up in it. Don't take nothing that does not belong, okay? I may say he, she, him, her. Know that I'm speaking of energy and not of people, okay? So let's jump into this and see what's going on with the collective. How is the collective feeling about their person at this time? Where is the collective energy at towards their person? Where is the collective energy at towards their person? One final shuffle. Let's just going into it. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I do need them to jump. Four cards for how my collective is feeling about their person. First card out is the Two of Swords. You may be a little guarded or blocked. Hold on, let me see if I can the camera a little bit for you guys. Or you may feel like your person is a little guarded or blocked here. Tell me more about how my collective feels about their person. With this judgment, you possibly may feel like this is a gift from God. I do feel like because it came out upright, this is something karmic in your favor here. Tell me more about how my person feels about their person. Yeah, so you, you, you have a lot of feelings for this person. You have love for this person, a lot of emotions for this person. A lot of romantic feelings for this person. Tell me more about how my collective feels about their person. That's too many. Only one more. One more for how my collective feels about their person. Okay, I'll take the two. They feel like this is a soulmate connection. <laughs> right? And they feel like they, they, that this person is their king of cups here. They, they have a lot of feelings for this person, a lot of love for this person. Can I get one card for the mutual energy that the collective feels? Oh, they gave me two. Okay, so we got the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups in reverse. Mm, okay. At the bottom of the deck for you guys, we have the High Priestess. Someone could be listening to their intuition. Very mysterious. You can see your person is someone very mysterious. Someone that listens to their intuition. Someone who's highly connected. You could be listening to your intuition about this connection. Okay, Spirit. So tell me about my collective person and how they feel about the collective and this connection. How is my collective person feeling about the collective? In this connection here. How do they feel about this connection? I don't know why I can't shuffle anymore. Just one of the cards. One final shuffle. Thank you. I need to jump. Name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How does my collective feel about, person feel about the collective? Okay, so they see you as their, their soulmate, as the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so they, they have a lot of love for you as well. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't necessarily have to be. Tell me more. How do they feel? This person wants e emotional happiness with you. They want to move away from emotional conflict and want something peaceful here with you. Tell me more. How does the collective person feel about Pisces? I mean, not Pisces, collective here. They see you as the Three of Cups here. Happiness, celebration. Okay. <coughs> 
<clears throat> give me one more for the collective person and how they feel about the collective here. I need to completely jump out, not turn sideways. Tell me how the collective person feels about the collective. They want to come in. Oh, I should take this one too. They want to come in and bring you some type of communication here quickly. Yeah, there could have been some type of heartbreak here, Ten of Swords. They could have did something that made you feel like you were stabbed in the back. This person loves you. But they want to talk about whatever this is, this Ten of Swords issue is, okay? You may have felt stabbed in the back here because the Three of Cups came out in reversal. They could have gave you a small offer because there was a third party situation here. Or there was something you wasn't happy with the offer. You wasn't happy with some, with some type of offer here. And now this person wants to move away from the emotional conflict with you. And they want to come back and have something peaceful here with you. After stabbing you in the back, they want to have a conversation here. Tell me about the mutual energy here for the collective person and the collective. Two of Pentacles, this person could have been juggling or back and forth in their feelings here. Yeah, after this tower moment between you guys. Yeah, yeah, somebody was left out in the cold. So you could have not been happy. The King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could have not been happy with, with an offer here. Or somebody could have been giving you a very small offer. This person could give you a very small offer. And you weren't happy with this shit. Okay? Um... You could have turned your back on the situation. Now this person wants to come in and talk to you about whatever it was that they stabbed you in the back. that caused them to stab you in the back. They want happiness here. They want to celebrate with you. They don't want to be left out in the cold. This King, King of Pentacles um, is very practical. They want to come in and bring some type of stability here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We can get a little bit more clarity here. One more final shuffle for the collective. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I do need them to jump. Can you clarify this two of swords here for how my collective is feeling about their person? Clarify the two of swords for how my person is feeling about their collective regarding. Okay, so there was some type of lies here. This is why you're guarded. Because there was some deception. And you could have possibly passed judgment on this person because of the deception here. Verify judgment. Thank you. Ooh, that was a lot. So yeah, this person, um, because it was in could have been obsessing. Could have had some type of addictions here. Third party, third party situations here. Yeah, they weren't keeping it real. So whoever this was, or whoever this is in this connection, you feel like they weren't keeping it real. They could have put you in a third-party situation here. Okay? Um, you do have a lot of romantic feelings for this person, and you do feel like this person is a soulmate here. Um, you do have a lot of love. You may not be showing it, or you feel like this person has a lot of love, and they're not showing their emotions. But this is because they had a third-party situation going on. Clarify the Knight of Cups for me. Yeah, which really um hurt you. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, because you wanted success in this connection. You could possibly want to return with this person. You feel like this person is a soulmate here. You do want something balanced, equal, give and take with this person. Tell me about the King of Cups. Now, understand a third party situation does not always mean another person. This could have been work. This could have been family, a mama, a kid. Something that was taking this person away from you. Yeah, so it was a lot of anxiety. This King of Cups is a lot of anxiety here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. You're anxious. So I feel like you're you're anxious about this connection, but you want success here. 
you weren't happy in the past about whatever was going down, about things not being balanced, about possibly only getting a little bit of time, um, only a little bit of effort was being put in. Okay, and it and it made you hurt, but you still have a lot of feelings for this person. You want success in this connection. This is why I feel like whatever the third party situation is, I don't feel like it was um a romantic third party situation. Like I said, this could be somebody that was working a lot. For some it may be it could have been an actual third party. And this is why you walked away. Okay, so I'm going to pick these up so I can clarify the other side. They're telling me to pick them up. This one, this one, and this one. Oh, these two. Okay, so let's clarify how your person is feeling towards you. I do feel like this is a soulmate connection with the king and the queen of cups here this could also have been a marriage here if somebody had an outside party third party situation here and they want to fix the situation they want to come in and talk about this name of the father the son and the holy spirit If you're not married, this could also have been a baby mama, baby father situation. And one of them cheated in the connection. And they want to come back and fix it. But for the majority of you, I feel like the third party situation is like an outside influence. Not necessarily um, a romantic connection. Clarify the Queen of Cups for me as far as, far as how the collective feels about the person. Chance, so this person wants to fix the situation with you. They want to change the situation. They no longer want to be with you guys. They are out in the cold. There are five, six of swords here. This person doesn't want to be out in the cold no more. They could have been juggling, yeah. This person wants to release all their bad habits and come towards you now with something peaceful. Tell me more. Yeah, because there's no forward movement right now. So this person knows they have to release their bad habits. They have to not juggle because they want happiness here with you. Okay, if I three of cups. Yeah, they want the family. Ten of gems. They want the stability with you. They miss their family. This is why they want to come in and talk to you. Knight of Swords. Yeah, but you possibly had them blocked. They can't talk to you. No connection. Because of the shit they did to you. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you withdrew your love. They stabbed you in the back and you withdrew your love. And now you're not talking to them. They they want to come in and fix this though. Clarify King of Pentacles for me real fast. Yeah. You let go. You let go of this King of Pentacles. You you call judgment on their ass. Okay, so let me pick it up and then we'll read for the mutual energy. Make sure everything is upright. Thank you. So let's clarify this mutual energy. Can you clarify the page of Pinnacles for me for the mutual energy for my collective. The page of Pinnacles. Name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That was confirmation right there. Clarify page of Pinnacles. Yeah, so you feel like this person has some a few bad habits here. Clarify three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. What are the bad habits? What do you do? Yeah, so you were very disappointed by this person's actions here because you thought there was going to be celebration three of cups upright. And you were disappointed because you didn't get what you thought you were going to get in this connection because of this person's habits. This person could have some sexual habits. This person could, like I said, video games, work. Doesn't always have to be um, a third party as far as a romantic connection, but they have some habits they need to release here. 
and it caused you a lot of disappointment because they put more time into whatever this habit was than into this connection here. And you walked away because of that. This could be drug habits. This could be anything, guys, okay? Third party situation. Clarify two of pinnacles for me. Yeah, this person wants to release the frustration now. They no longer want to juggle. Clarify the tower moment. Yeah, because they realized it was unsuccessful. And they're frustrate, frustrated because they're not having success with you because you have them blocked. And they know they're not having success with you because of the third party situation. Clarify the five of pentacles for me. Yep. The empress left their ass out in the cold. You could be the wife, the husband, the, the other person left them out in the cold. They see you as husband or wife material here though. They want their family. They want this connection. They can see you as a baby's mother. You see me baby's mother, baby father situation as well. Playing the card. Yeah, so this person wants to hold on to you. Possessive. If they're trying to hold on to this connection with you. This is why they want to come in and talk to you, babies. Yep, after this tower moment, this crisis. They know they fucked up. And they go to high priestess again. They see you as the high priestess. Your intuition could have told you about this shit that was going on. Now they want to fix this tower moment. Because you turned your back on them. You walked away. Now they want to fix it. They want to change. They have a lot of respect for you. And they've been reevaluating the situation here. And they see you as a reward, as their gift. They're very anxious and dealing with a lot of anxiety right now and a lot of fear. Because they're afraid that if they come towards you, you may reject them. But they're going to travel towards you. They're getting their shit together so they can come towards you here. So I'm going to leave this here. If it resonated with you, let me know down in the comment section. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, remember if you'd like to book a personal, leave a tip or donation or buy any of my products. All my information is in the description box, babies, below. So until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.